market update time you guys know what it is let's get into it shall we assassins what's up everybody good to see you all back again march 3rd right now it's about 12 30 in the afternoon here on a friday let's go through the market real quick let's go over some high cap stuff some mid cap stuff and some low cap stuff maybe you find a little something that you like you never know let's go real quick shameless plug 786unlimited.com has our discord and everything that we do here plus this link right here gets you half off eight bucks a month it's all you got to pay to be a part of our group and get unlimited information from everyone in there we all share we all make more money together we all do better plus you have full access to everything that i do my wallet my portfolio my spreadsheet which is an active spreadsheet that you can make your own as well it's all in there go give it a, go give it a look man what's the worst that could happen eight dollars like come on one venti coffee at starbucks all right, going to start off with Bitcoin here on the daily chart. This is just a regular old Binance Bitcoin versus USD. As you see, it's failed the 50 moving average. We were hoping it would hang on to this. Didn't like it too much. It rejected fairly quickly. After it blew through the 50 moving average, it waked all the way down to 22,000, where I, where I was able to snag some Bitcoin, was able to grab it right there at about 50, uh, 22,000 and get a hold of where, where I wanted to. Um, Keep in mind, this may fail a little more. I'm not positive. I want to watch this very closely. There is support underneath this. All right, we have some support around 21,000 and 20,000. Uh, and barring a failure, if we look at the CME chart real quick, I'll show you that so you can see it. There you go. CME chart right there says, you know, hey, look, we could come all the way back down to about 21,000 where that 50, uh, 50 and 200 golden cross is happening right here you can see that cross happening right there there's a solid possibility we come all the way back down to that level at which i will dollar cost average a little bit uh, i haven't dollar cost average hardly any this entire time and this will be an opportunity for me to do so all right now ethereum uh looking at this very similar to bitcoin only difference here is there's a change in the timeline here if you look here's the major bear market trend line and as you see we're flirting right on top of it, flirting right on top of it. If we come down and touch it, I'm not going to be too upset. We have a 100, 200 moving average cross happening right here. We're kind of getting some price action reflecting backwards as that happens. That's okay. If we look at the CME chart, it's a different story. CME chart still pinned under the trend line, and there's a solid possibility that this thing comes all the way back to the 50 moving average, which is right around 1,500. Now, that's not a guarantee, as you guys know. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> but not the point. More so the point is, watch out for that 1500 level. Could definitely be a point of contention. <sighs> All right, let's take a look at everybody's favorite XRP. Not really. <laughs> anyway, uh, big wick on the bottom of this is good. This big wick indicates that there are buyers here at this level looking to reclaim what they lost. Uh, this thing wicked all the way down to 35 cents, which is exactly where I thought it may hit. Now, I personally didn't buy any of this. I don't like the look where it's all under all these moving average. We talked about this one in a previous video, uh, and I shared it over to Twitter as well so everyone could see it. We're still under this big bear market line, and until we break this big bear market line, I'm waffling back and forth on XRP here. Uh, I need to see it improve a little bit more. Hit that 35 cent level that I was looking for. If it doesn't improve here, we could retest these wicks and retest this support down here. However, there's a solid possibility we could go lower than that, down to 30 cents. Uh, you know, for the summer, I still like these upper level targets, but you know what? We're just not there yet. All right, time for a low cap here. Here's one chain. One USD is what I'm looking at. W A N U S D. Today, while everything else is in the red, one chain is up 10%. You can see my buy line right there at roughly 20 cents. All right, so it's bounced off of this 236 fib on the big high time frame trend. Excellent look. Uh, it's got legs to move up toward 41 cent or even 60 cents here. 41 cent makes more cent, roughly 40 cent uh, right here into this next resistance level. I will say this, all the moving averages are in order and lined up as we want to see. We got the 8 and 21 EMA in order. Then we have the 50, 100, and 200 moving averages all in order perfectly i like the way this looks this thing could run out all the way through summer we'll see where it ends up 
I have really high hopes and uh, a really good outlook for Wine Chain myself. I won't be coming off this until I have to. I don't remember if Wine Chain is available with the USD pair or not in KuCoin or wherever you're buying. I bought this on KuCoin, I believe. And I think I may have had to swap from Bitcoin to Wine Chain, but I still chart it versus the dollar because everything's versus the dollar. All right, next up here, I've got Filecoin. Now, Filecoin let me down here. Um, I bought this and I thought it was doing really well. It ran up to this 382 fib box that I put up here. It was a target box that I had. And then it failed and rolled over really, really quickly, which let me down. I was way up on this one. So I actually sold and rebought some. Um, I've since dollar cost averaged a little bit into this one, um, thinking that maybe we get some more up here. As you see, it smacked off of the same 236 fib that I just showed you on one chain, right? Same thing happened here. Pulled up off that 236 fib with a nice little wick right here. There is some buyers here. Uh, good news is the 50 moving average is right up underneath that wick. So we should get some sort of support from that. Also, we haven't even gotten a 100 and 200 moving average cross just yet. Uh, that's in the process of happening. It still may take a little bit to get there. So that's just part of the game. Again, this thing could run out the summer toward $10 and even $16 if it got really, really silly. Uh, but there is some resistance levels up here that's going to get kind of held up along the way. Uh, but I do like this upper level up here uh, right under this resistance right here at this 50 fib, which is roughly about $16. Bucks. Uh, $16 ish. Just depends. Uh, there's my outlook for Filecoin. All right. Lastly, this is Midas. M I I. D A S. It's on the BitGert network. So the, what you're looking at here is off of Deck Screener. I don't particularly love using Deck Screener, but it is what it is. I bought three hundred dollars worth of this Midas. Um, you buy this on. Gosh, I forget it where you even buy it. Uh, it tells you how to buy it over here on. Uh, you can use Ice Cream Swap, or I think there's another swap you use to buy. Basically, you take Breeze, which is what you buy on KuCoin, and you send it over to your wallet, and you can swap from Breeze to Midas over on the exchange it's all there for you to figure out not going to tell you all the ins and outs uh, but what i do like is the charts here i like this upward trend that it's got going on even though it failed short term right here i like this big wick that the bottom through right here there are buyers here which is good i've got a good outlook for this one it's a fairly new coin and i think there's a lot of upside that's the reason i got into it what i would look for for the summer here is back to at least four zeros i'm sorry three zeros three that's zero 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 three I think that's fully possible. And if we get silly, 308, that would be excellent for me. Uh, all the way up here at the 308 level is what I would look for for the end of the summer. One thing at a time, though. All righty, so that's it. Just a few coins each time. We do these updates every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back on live stream Thursday as normal, 11 p.m. Until then, jump over in our Discord, 786unlimited.com. We've got an awesome special going right now. If you use this link right here, Get you half off, eight bucks a month forever. Eight bucks a month forever. That's one venti coffee at Starbucks. For one venti coffee at Starbucks, you can have all this information before it hits YouTube and every other bit of information that everyone in our Discord provides. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Leave you with this. Could have been anywhere in the world. It shows to be here with me. I appreciate that more than you'll ever realize. Thank you. Sky's the limit. Y'all be good. Peace.